This video is going to change your view completely about how you see the world. Today, you will realize how we actually live in our mind, not in this world. So keep watching the video till the end. Our world is not outside, it's within our mind. Actually, we see the image of this world inside our mind. So everyone is living in his own world, created inside his mind. It means there are as many worlds as there are living creatures on the earth. Not agree with this idea? Let's try to understand it with some interesting examples. Friends, we do so many things in our life to make ourselves happy. We purchase new things from the market or shop online. We spend time with our loved ones. We go to our favorite places. We play, dance and run after different types of sensual pleasures. We waste lots of our time, money and energy to seek happiness and pleasure in the external world. But have you ever thought why we need all this? What purpose does the external world solve? Actually, these external things don't do anything to make us happy. What they do is just trigger the secretion of various happiness hormones in our body. And as a result, we feel happiness. And as you know, many times these objects fail to make us happy. Got the point? Okay, let's take one more example to make it more clear. When a woman hugs her child and husband, then different types of hormones may be released in the body of her child and husband. Although the woman is same, but it triggers different types of hormones in different bodies. Why this happens? Actually, the relationship of child and husband with that woman is different. So, they have different types of feelings, beliefs and memories associated with the same woman. Therefore, the same woman triggers the release of different hormones in the bodies of her child and her husband. Now suppose that the husband loses his memory in a car accident and all the memories associated with that woman are erased. He cannot even recognize his wife. So now, if the woman hugs her husband, it will not release the same hormones that were released before the accident because she is an unknown person for him. So what does it mean? It means external world only helps in the secretion of different hormones in the body and the same object may trigger different hormones in different persons. Everyone, including the humans and other animals, see the world differently based on their intellectual level, past memories, body structure, sensory organs and other numerous factors. Someone may hate your favorite color and you may hate someone's favorite color. So how to say which color is good or bad? All the colors are equally good and bad. It all depends on your mind. There is nothing in the color, cloth or any person etc that makes it beautiful. You must have heard the famous line, beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. For a mother, her child is most beautiful in the world. All these examples explain that there is no meaning of the external world unless there is someone to give it some meaning. So now we understand we actually live in our mind. External world is just a stimulant. But if we know that we actually live in our mind, then we can use other ways to achieve happiness. It has been found that whatever pleasure and happiness you achieve by spending so much time, money and energy can be obtained just by doing meditation. Doing meditation can release happy hormones like serotonin, dopamine, oxytocin and endorphins. You can remember good or bad memories in your mind and you will start to live in that time again. You will enter into the world that was present at that time. Do you know, when we recall our old experiences, the same firing patterns of neurons are repeated in the brain that took place at that time. So we actually start to feel that experience again. We enter into that time again and relive that life. So we live in our mind. Let's make it more clear. What happens in your dreams? When you dream, you are completely in a different world, your dream world. You are completely unaware of your surroundings. Your world is in your mind. Your brain cannot differentiate between the dreaming state 
and the wakeful state. Therefore, you laugh, cry, smile, feel fear and pain while dreaming. Your heartbeat increases, body gets sweaty, hence you show all the symptoms as if you are living your dreams in reality. When you dream, you are totally unconscious of the external world and you actually live in your mind. In the same way, we can live any life just by clearly imagining and visualizing that life in our mind. On doing this, neural network circuit will be triggered accordingly and desired hormones will be released in the body. So, we actually be living that life. My dear friends, all the pleasures and sufferings are in our minds, not in the external world. We actually suffer our mind, not this world. Our world is in our mind and we are the controller of our mind. We need not to control the external world if we can control our mind. If everything is okay inside our head, then you will see all is okay with the external world too. But if there is some problem in your mind, then you will see the whole world full of problems, even if everything is totally okay in the world. Actually, you see events of the external world in your mind and it is your brain that gives meaning to the meaningless events as per your perspective. Keep it in mind that your mind can be your biggest friend or biggest enemy. If it obeys you and takes your instructions, then you can create your desired world. But if you cannot control it, then your mind will start to control you. World famous spiritual leader Sri Sri Ravi Shankar says, If you can win over your mind, you can win over the whole world. Now, please try to understand and think about it, what I am going to say. You can feel it. Suppose there are four members in your family. Let me remind you, they are not just four members. They are four worlds living in one family. For example, your world is formed by your family, your relatives, your friends, your colleagues and everyone whom you know. Other persons live in the form of images in our mind and in the same way we live in their minds in image form. Along with this, your past memories, your beliefs, your future plans and past experiences etc. are also the part of your world. This is your world inside your head. There are other three worlds in your family that are created in the same way. Therefore, everyone lives in the world created by his or her mind. But when any member of the family dies, one whole world dies with him. Suppose you are sitting in a room on a chair, but you are deeply thinking about your best friend whom you met in a garden yesterday. You are not aware of your surroundings at all. You are not conscious of your physical body in the present moment. Now, I want to ask you a question. Where are you in the present moment? Although your physical body is present in the room, but your consciousness is in the garden. You are physically present in the room, but mentally you are in the garden. You yourself are not aware of your physical body's location or even its existence. Some of my viewers may answer, obviously I am present in the room, because the physical body is present in the room. But it's not that simple. Actually, when you are in your deep thoughts, your physical body also responds according to what's going in your mind. You may smile, laugh, feel fear, cry or shed tears while thinking about something. For other persons, you may be present in the room, but you are actually not there. You are in the garden at that time, because your consciousness is in the garden, not in the room. It's not your physical body that matters. It is your consciousness that actually matters. What happens when a person dies? His physical body is left there. So, would we say he is present there? Obviously not. His consciousness has left his physical body. So, it's your consciousness that makes you, you not your physical body. Therefore, it's not the physical world where we live in. We live in our minds. My dear friends, 
What do you think about this video? Please share your views in the comments. Please like the video if you found it interesting and informative. And for more such videos, subscribe my YouTube channel Engineering Made Easy. Thank you so much for watching the video completely. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye bye.